<laughs> Look at them, baby. This is you. They've never come out for anyone. They just want to pop out for you. If I had a nickel. <laughs> for every time a guy told you that his knees popped out, his hands for you. I'm Oliver Trevina here at the Young Hollywood Studio with the lovely Constance Wu. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We were talking about the way I sit. Is there yes. any problem? Well, that's what this whole show is about. The right? way I sit. Experimenting yeah. different ways for you to sit. For us to sit. Now, Together. you've adapted a very strong female pose with a cup it's of not, coffee. I didn't even adapt it. This is just my nature. You walk like that as well. Yes. <laughs> with the legs crossed like this. I don't even walk. I float. Your team member just said I've got chunky knees. <laughs> Stick it in well, my head now. Well, they're so chunky that they burst a hole. <laughs> they burst a hole. I'm like the Incredible Hulk. I'm the British Incredible Hulk. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on on to more things, which is relevant as well. Fresh off the boat. Yes. Which I'm kind of that as well. Fresh off the boat. Yeah. yeah. You, you look it. I do. Do yeah. I? I've got no tan yet at all. You've got good teeth, actually. <laughs> they're not mine. That's actually a bad story. <laughs> they're not mine. <laughs> And this interview's going great. We're going to edit out everything so far. Um, but yes, fresh off the boat, mm -hmm. ABC. We've just had the finale. Yes. It's done. It's finished. It's so it went by so quickly. And uh, yeah, we're excited to show you guys more. Yeah. Um, the finale is, is kind of the opposite to what the season was about. Now you're trying to get back your roots. Right. right. We worry that we've assimilated too much right. into this Orlando, Florida culture. Right. Into the American dream. Mom, why did you get me reassigned? I had Jamaica. I was on Easy Street. Everything wanna be Irie. Jamaica's so much cooler than China. You know what's cool? A wall you can see from space. China, birthplace of kung fu. China, gunpowder, the compass, gambling. China, China, China! Ah! What is that? Chicken feet is for good fidelity. I don't want good fidelity. It's hilarious, but I look at it and I'm like, I don't know how you guys keep a straight face during filming. It's that. That's tough. It, it must be tough, right? Uh-huh, especially when I'm acting with uh, Lucille Song, the woman who right, plays right. Grandma, because she will never break character. She will just be intense and screaming at you right. in Chinese, and I just... I lose it. She's so funny. And Randall, my co-star, he never breaks character, but sometimes when he's acting with Grandma, he just... He, he loses it. He loses he it. He loses it. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Has there been a favourite episode for you so far in the first season? Um, yeah, I like the uh, the Shaq Fu episode. Okay. I think that's the one where I did my pimp walk. Okay. Which I I've would say do it again, but you're dying. tied up with a mic, so we won't get you to do that right now. Right, and but I don't think it can be contained in the studio, so... You'll be surprised what we can contain in the studio. <laughs> it's not your knees. Not my, not my knees. He's talking Look at them babies. About them. Look at them babies. <laughs> this is you. They've never come out for anyone. They just wanted to pop out for you. If I had a nickel. <laughs> for every time a guy told you that his knees popped out, his pants for you. Terrible, terrible, uh, terrible. Um, Fresh off the boat is based off uh, Eddie Wong's the famous chef and his it's, memoir. His memoir. It's loosely more based. Loosely, loosely based loosely. off of you know because like that... my jeans. Loosely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean that book, his memoir, spans his whole life, right, right. like up until adulthood. So right. obviously we can't force little Hudson Yang to grow well, up and become incarcerated. Well, in season incarcerated. 25, you might. That's, still be gone. You that's what the Hollywood rumors are saying. 25 seasons. I read probably. the Hollywood Report and it says they're looking for 25 seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're quite a tight-knit family. The kids on it are hilarious as well. Yeah. Um, any fun set stories that you can fill us in on? Do you play pranks or anything? No, but I, I have a bunny rabbit and I bring her to this set right. every day. You have a bunny rabbit? Yeah, I bring her and she just roams freely around my trailer. Not that this is, I'm going to get hate by the bunny rabbit committee, if there is one. <laughs> but I thought bunny rabbits just stay in cages at home. I didn't mm. think they were animals that you actually take like dogs. Well, if you mistreat them, they okay. are Not that I'd ever do that. I've never owned a bunny rabbit, but now I know that you take well, it with you. Yeah, and you well, you don't have to take it with you, but they're kind of like cats. Do you have a leash? No. Okay. So but they, they're litter trained, so they just roam around the house and do their thing. They're kind of messy though, because they eat what's, a lot of What's pie. the bunny's name? Her name is Lida Rose. There is a song okay. called Lida Rose okay. from a, a play called The Music Man, which is one of the first plays I did when I was a kid. Brilliant. Yeah, because you've been in this acting world for a long time. I haven't been paid for it for the longest right, right. time, but I've been but doing it. But you trained. That. You've done it properly. You trained and yeah. I did it properly. Before you hit I the big it. time on Fresh Off The Boat, you were, you were a waitress at BOA. I was. Yeah. Yes, I, w I waited on Paris Hilton a lot. 
that. There you go. She's great. Yeah, there you go. She loves a filet mignon. The expensive kind. Yes, and she gets chocolate chip cookies for dessert. Look at that. Yeah. And I, she still I keeps that slender stuff. figure. Oh, she does. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, to be Paris Hilton. Espresso. To have that metabolism. Shot of tequila. There you go. <laughs> Goes down perfect. You've had some interesting guest stars as well. Um, is there anyone next season, that you, if you could choose anyone, anyone in the world, they could be dead, it's just going to make it harder, but your dream guest star Steve on the show. Buscemi. That's a good one. It's a good one. Can't even say anything after that. Steve Buscemi, I'm not even going to ask anything after that. <laughs> so just wrap it up, but we're not going <laughs> to... Just have the episode just be his face. Just Steve Buscemi. <laughs> just looking at the camera. Yeah. What would you scream? <laughs> You're Steve Buscemi! I don't know. Okay, what... that's good. It's yeah, pretty... declarative sentences. You also learn quite a bit on the on the show, because you know, you've, you've made the move from DC, you've gone to Orlando, mm -hmm. and you're all learning this way of American dream. What would you say that if you were on the show and you were going to learn something, what would you like to learn? You know, part of finding your own identity is experimenting with sort of different things when you grow up, whether right. that's, you know, trying out macaroni and cheese instead of having, you know, your mom's stinky tofu or whatever. Yeah. I shouldn't have just eaten fish and chips every day. Oh, well, but it, fish and chips are good. The fish and chips are good. Yeah, it's eaten with the malt vinegar. Well done. Of well done. So many people don't even. You've just, you've, you've just shot me there. I mean, you were doing well anyway, but you've just gone through the roof. Oh, you've I, gone through my. You wanna, you wanna you've know gone through my pants. My favourite movies are British comedy called With Nail and Die. It's a good one. Is, are you sure you're not British? I'm not sure. I knew I recognised you. <laughs> we went different because schools you together. All know each other. We went different schools together. Yeah, of course. All people, everywhere, should watch Fresh Off the Boat. You already have, it's over. You should watch, you know, the next season. The next season, which yeah. is soon. It's a great mystery.